Welcome to Grassmere Campsite at Caister on Sea. This could be the shortest campsite review we've ever done, but that is not to suggest it's because we don't like Grassmere, because we absolutely do. It is a very small, family owned campsite. It does have free Wi-Fi, although the Wi-Fi is not any good for streaming and it does drop off occasionally on our devices. But it is free Wi-Fi and I think for £22 a night for the four of us on a hard standing pitch is absolutely fantastic value. So the shower blocks are individual shower blocks and they've been recently updated and they're very nice. I'll stick an inset picture in the video now. We have a small vegetable preparation area. So as you can see, there's individual shower units. Here we have the, put the light on. So you have one laundry room. And we have the El Sand disposal, which is in its own little, little cupboard, I would call this, but again, Absolutely fine, clean, does the job. Reception is that little building over there. But if it's not, if there's nobody in there, then you need to pop to the owner's house at that door just there. So to gain entry and to exit is one single barrier. And the owner will either notice you at the window or you'll need to just tap on the door for him to let you out. Now Grassmere is just off the A149 in a place called Caister on Sea and it's situated down a short narrow lane so we chose Grassmere because of the reviews that we'd read because it's family owned it's not part of any club now the bus stops are literally just at the end of the lane from the campsite and the number 1, 1A and number 8 buses will get you to Great Yarmouth like I said everyone, I think that's probably going to be the, the shortest campsite review that we're ever going to have on the channel. But that doesn't reduce the fact that we love Grassmere. We found it a very pleasant place to stay. And we would recommend it just because it's in a nice part of the country. And at the end of the day, it's very easy to travel to other places including Great Yarmouth. We hope as always you found our video helpful and informative. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. There's going to be plenty of more campsite reviews coming in the next coming weeks, months and years, hopefully. We'll see you soon.